The beauty of the RNA vaccines, such as the ones for COVID-19, is their simplicity. Their composition includes just tiny droplets of fat called lipid nanoparticles, the RNA we put inside them, water and some salts. Lipid nanoparticles protect the RNA on its way to the human cell. The key to a great RNA vaccine is that they have to combine and mix together and then stay together as little droplets and only release the RNA when you want them to. It's like when you make a vinaigrette salad dressing. First you mix oil and vinegar you get these tiny little droplets and then after a while all the fat and oil starts to float to the top. The same can happen with a vaccine. My name is Cy Jeffries and I'm a structural biologist at Embel Humburg. I specialize in a technique called SACS which stands for small angle x-ray scattering. Part of my job is to help other scientists use SACS for their research. In SACS we shoot x-rays at molecules dispersed in solution which lets us analyze their structure and properties. How do we use SACS in vaccine development? SACS lets us peer inside the RNA nanoparticles of these vaccines but it also lets us work out whether these nanoparticles stay together and ensure that these vaccines arrived at the clinic just as fresh when it was produced. SACS allows us to test which nanoparticles survive freezing, storage and unfreezing, and how long they last on the shelf. Another critical moment is when the vaccine passes through the needle of the syringe. The nanoparticles undergo high shear force, which might break them up, kind of like going down a water slide at high speed. SACS can tell us if these nanoparticles survive the trip. Finally, the nanoparticles must be designed in such a way that they release the RNA only once they enter human cells, but not earlier. This is where the clever chemistry of nanoparticles comes in. The nanoparticle gets flipped to release the RNA when it enters the cell. The trick relies on the change in acidity level. Here again, SACS was indispensable to confirm if this switch actually works. SACS is at the forefront of the development of new technologies in biomedicine. Our team was really excited to participate in this research and contribute to developing mRNA vaccines.